drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now it's Taylor. And he's got his man on the out route. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. He'll have a first down past the 40 and all the way up to the 45-yard line. Taylor able to use those legs of his to pick up a first. Under the category of obvious, you hate giving up a first down on third and long. And somehow, he finds his way downfield and picks it up. And if you look at the coverage defensively, and oh, this is great, but no one accounted for him at the quarterback spot. At some point, you actually have to tackle him and get him on the ground short of the first down marker. They'll run again with Hunt. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. It's a first down following a gain of three. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Michael Brockers in on the stop. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Throwing on second and eight. Taylor complete. It's Henry. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. So it's his second miss of the game. They both hurt. This one especially so. Yeah, you've got a chance to give your guys a second half lead, and they're counting on you to put them in front. And I tell you, there's no one more disappointed than he is that he let his guys down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Devontae Parker, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Hey, when you're thinking about your opening drive in the third quarter, you're thinking about exactly that, putting together a drive. But instead, what did we get? Big pass downfield touchdown. I, I thought, okay, you know, just sitting back in my chair, let's get eased in, a couple runs, no, boom. Yeah, forget the body blows, folks. Let's throw the big shot right now. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 to now. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, a long touchdown pass into the end zone. This fielded at the two. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. 